Welcome. We're Random Encounter Productions. I'm Cody Stone. Uh, with me tonight, we have... I'm Megan. I'm playing Sarai Landir, the Eludrin Glamour Bar. I'm Caitlin. I'm playing Fable Frost, the Ice Genasi Sorcerer. And I'm Matthew. I'm playing Clever Sitch, the Arcane Arc. Everyone okay. can be heard. Hey. Great. Um. So, guys, if we, uh, yeah. Um. All right. I'm just fixing things over there. Um. I don't know if we have any announcements. It's eight thirty. We're just gonna get into the game because I am. Uh. It's been a minute. It's been a. It's been a. It's been a. Uh. A time. And maybe uh, a thing and or ordeal. So that is, I've got so many laptops in front of me. Do I know what any of them are saying? Not really. Can That's I okay. Can I really uh, multitask this well? Probably not. Can we but have we're... closing talk? Yeah, just you as a person. 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 Oh no. I can hear you. I can too. Oh no. I can hear you. I can. Speak yeah. for us, Thosen. Speak for us, Thosen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are we okay? Can we can we get going? All right, so the stream can't pick up those in. So and leave the leave the Discord call and back. All right, guys. Well, we're we're doing some audio through Discord. We've got the visual going on roll twenty. Um, I I don't, I don't know. I can hear him um, over on the Discord. When he talks, you'll watch his little circle light up right here. Around your on next yeah, around yeah, around your thingy on the in the voice. <clears throat> the magics of Discord. Ooh. So it should be working. It should be picking him up, but if we're not getting him, um I guess let us know. Just on Twitch. I can hear him perfectly on here. It's just Twitch that can't get him for some reason. Just on Twitch. I can hear him perfectly on here. It's just... Is it the timber of his voice that you cannot hear? Mm -mm. <laughs> timber of his... Mm -mm. I was going to say, if he if he can reset his roll 20, maybe, and change... Well, it shouldn't be a roll I know. 20 thing. It should be this one. Is your... um, wait, hold on. Cody, just to make sure... Um, on the Random Encounters production one that you oh, just put yeah. into the Discord, make sure to right-click um, Carlos's profile and make sure that mute isn't didn't somehow oh, yeah. get selected. Nope. He is not yeah. muted. Damn it! He is now. <laughs> he is now. <laughs> muted him. Yep, I'm, mute I'm muting all of you. There it is. You guys can watch me do it, yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew's your last. There you go. All right. <laughs> so I need to be heard. So here's the funny thing. I'm muting what's going out to 
the Twitch stream, but I could still but hear you. You can still hear yeah, us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> give us another try, Thosin. <laughs> He's six four. <laughs> <laughs> Thousand will be played by Meg tonight as his inner monologue. <laughs> Don't make me do this. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. I Mm-hmm. Oh, I hear the music mm -hmm. on the Twitch. It sounds real good. I can't hear it, but the Twitch can hear it. It's nice. Yep. Yeah. Carlos, why don't you tell us what happened on Junk Drawer last week? Hey y'all, Dan's gonna jump in the call so that he can try and help us out with some stuff. Yay! Yeah. Go Dan. See if his audio comes through. Quick test to see if this plays on my end. Quick test to see if this plays on my end. What the hell, dude? What? Yeah, you sound fine here, and he said he could hear, and we could all hear him on the Twitch. Um, Dan went through just fine. So, not sure why it is. Can you leave the game and come back in? Just like bamf out of the game completely. Well, yeah, make sure. Yeah, I don't. I, again, I don't know why it would be it, roll twenty, it's... but. I. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Okay. 
I can hear you. Yeah, you're on. Voice settings are on. So. Nothing on the stream. I'm going to be right back. I want to go uh, listen to the this computer's output because it's in a different place and just try to hear Carlos say something. Give us a give us a couple of pledge of allegiances, I guess, Carlos. <laughs> just just start vamping, my dude. Talk about your background. How how's it? Oh my god. <laughs> In Um, hold put, hold, stay put. Um, let's see. I would like to. Okay, disconnected, reconnected. Thousand. Give me some. Check one, two, check, check. This is my mic check. Yes, it is. I can't sing, but I will try for Got you. Got it. Yay. I did it. Yeah, of course, that is what came through. Yay. You're welcome, stream. All right, let's go down the line. It's a ride. Hi, I was eating chips. I'm sorry. <laughs> there are no chips on stream. There are no chips on stream. You can eat the chip. Eat the chip. <laughs> I'm doing my own test back and forth real quick. Yep. And. Hi, hello. It's me. Mm hmm. Dozen. This is me. Dozen Fahrenheit. I like fire. Okay. Oh. All right. Fire likes me. We can hear everybody. I've <laughs> troubleshot so many things in the Everyone past two hours. Y'all, 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 bits and donations for fucking uh, Cody Stone, who like, we uh, marathon man. man this for two and a half, three hours now. Like, fucking do it. <laughs> Proud of you, Appreciate you. All right. Uh -huh. So let's go before something else breaks. Go. <laughs> um, I'm going to push play on some music. And hopefully it's not too loud. There we Just go. Barovian okay. Village. Hmm. All right. So when last we left our heroes, uh, they had to, to Dorian's Dawn. That's the name of the place. Dorian's Dawn. Oh, my Lord. Discord, if you weep one more. God damn time. I love you. I love you all. And I love that you're all talking. But it is so, so distracting. <laughs> okay, I'll deal with that in a moment. Um, you guys had uh, successfully 
made it through the Tower of La Rochelle, uh, returned safely to Dorian's Dawn. There was a bit of shopping that happened. You guys wandered around, picked up some jobs. Um, you got a nice round trip planned. You guys were planning on heading into uh, the thicket of one of the nearby forests to hunt giant wasps, then to assist a rather shell-shocked uh, graduate student who had lost his second adventuring team into a well of undeath and then up into the mountains to assist a uh, fellow adventurer named Wolfa, who uh, had taken a job and her her brother, her friends, uh, her other teammates had moved on uh, to take a job there and had been missing for, I think, a week or two and attempts to scry on them and locate them through augury and other magical means were gone, um, did not work. They were they were hit with a blinding light instead. So you guys have taken on these three jobs, these three side quests or main quests or just quests. That's good. We don't need to label our quests here. We just, all quests are, are valid. They're all mm-hmm. worthwhile. There are no mm-hmm. small quests. There are only small adventurers. Adventurers. <laughs> yeah. There's only Ciroc. Halflings, oh. mostly. Um, and birds. <clears throat> so, uh, just before setting out, you guys, uh, the morning you were intended to set out to ride, who had sold a uh, <laughs> dragon chess set that she had begun a second match with a mysterious figure. Um... <clears throat> sold it to uh, a young man by the name of Wyatt, who often draws the ire of the team. And um, that night she dreamt of being attacked by a, a the king of the dragon chess set. Uh, even though she is an Eladrin and elves in general only enter a trance to see visions of their of their past and do not actually um, do not actually dream. So, uh, oh, I found it. I found it. Sounds. Message. No sounds. No sounds for message. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh my dear friends. <laughs> it's going to be okay. <laughs> We're going to make it. It will not beat us. <laughs> Any of it. I'm so proud of us. I'm so proud. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh God. The crazy laughs, y'all. <laughs> okay. He's going to drink tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what would you guys like to do? It's it's dawn. It's early in the morning. So, ride you just had this encounter um, I would like to make a check to see if I know that the dragon in the dream is related to the chess set yes you know you do no need okay it is um, so the draconic chess sets are especially depending on the age uh, the age of the one that you came from more than a thousand years old so it is very stylized um, in its portrayal of dragons. And if you think back to um, very much the same way that statuettes and things like that from our own history are not uh, sort of in the pre-Renaissance, you know, we're not talking about like true to form uh, figures and figurines, especially something that small. Um, so yeah, it is the the representation. You don't know where else you would have picked up that image from. Okay. Um, then I would like to go to. I'm assuming the gentlemen are sharing. I would suspect so. Sure. Let's knock on the door real quick. In my face mask and my fuzzy slippers. Come in. No, <laughs> Of course you are. You're always <laughs> fiction. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Around the corner. <laughs> so I'm so sorry to uh, to interrupt you so early, 
but um, I've got a bit of a problem, and I was wondering if I might have some help. What, what kind, kind of problem do you Well, do you have? first of all, I'm going to need some of the party gold. All right, um, I don't I, see why that's a problem. I sold the chess set to Wyatt. All right. So that I could afford armor. Oh, crap. Um, so she has both of the wands are sort of like chopsticked into her hair. Okay. So she's, she's going to like touch the, the mage armor one and cast it on her. Self oh, <laughs> before nice. anything else happened. First thing in the morning, mage armor. And um, I cast mage armor as well. <laughs> Just in general. You can. Because I forget Ooh. and I'll die otherwise. Thank you, you carry to, on. We'll, we'll do it together. And um, right, so I could get this. And um, then I had a, a dream last night, which isn't normal of uh, one of the pieces of the set attacking the Feywild. So oh. I think it might be prudent if I got chess set back. Do you, well, do you think that you could um, possibly talk to the person that you sold it to to talk about it? That's why I actually wanted to talk to Master Fahrenheit. And um, would you mind terribly coming with me whilst I talk to Master Wyatt um, sort of in a muscle capacity? You're a bit oh. frightening looking. Th that's who you uh, sold it to. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I think he knows me. I don't. Does he know me? <laughs> um, DM? Like, would he know me pretty well to, like, that I wouldn't be able to intimidate him? Like, He would he probably recognize you as being a uh, teaching assistant. So you could attempt to intimidate him. He may believe you could bodily harm him, but he'd probably counter-threaten you with losing your job. Uh, what, about us, what about one of us that isn't a teacher? You, I mean, you guys could attempt that for sure. Yeah. I can what be about, so threatening. What about what? I, it went out. What? Those of us we who are just, not teachers, like I'm not a teacher. Oh, um, no, that's rice, rice. I mean, I, I was there yesterday with treasure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you, you guys could attempt to intimidate him. Um, what, you do what? also get most of your work from the school, but yeah. yeah. Go for it. What do you it's think? You. What do you think you have to do with the chair? Well, I started a game and I didn't finish it. Am I there? You can be. Um, don't you think someone like him who liked to be smart and clever, you could maybe try to win it back from him? Just for a while until oh. we solve the problem. He's curious about things like this. If we tell him there's something odd with it, and we need to get he... it, it spoke to you. He knows what's wrong with it because he did a check mm. and he was very against buying it in the first place. And then he did a check and then he got all the people in the house to spend money on it. So we're not just giving the oh. money back? I don't have the money. I, I sold it so that I could this. And we oh, don't that is... we don't think he'd be more interested in, I don't know, helping with the magical thing or that we could try to trick it back from him or do you think that he simply because if not i might be uh, assuming some things that i shouldn't be but do you think that he'd let you uh play this game so that you can finish it so that he can start his own because i don't know if the person on the other end wants to be wants to play against somebody that didn't start the game. So he might, it might be useless to Right. Him. See, the thing was, I started the game and then the person on the other side said they didn't want to play anymore right then. That's why I didn't finish the game. Apparently they've got to schedule and other things that they're doing too. So I could either, oh God, live with Wyatt until I finish the game. Let's do that. What? Nothing. <laughs> 
I'm star for entertainment. I was raised in a circus. <laughs> I well, let's let's go talk to him and see what we can do. We have about three hundred and eleven gold in the party funds. Um, how much did you sell it? Five hundred. I can help uh, if that would buy right. it back from him. I, she pulls out just like big chunks of gold. Did I, this... I'm, I'm embarrassed to have to ask for this much money, but yeah, but you I, keep me alive. I can't have these dreams anymore. I need to. Well, so hmm? if, if this thing is powerful enough, we we should get this sorted before it escalates. All right. Agreed. And it's coming for you. Maybe it will repay you the money afterwards. But also, if it's coming for you and we're near you, no offense, but I'd rather pay it so that we don't... I would like that very much as well. So let's, let's go talk to... Let's go talk to him, see if we can uh, get you to just play the game first and then finish it, hopefully. And then if not, we can... All right. Step one, play. Step two, buy back. Step three, steal it back if we have to. Uh, that is an option. It is an option. I can... I can... I thought... I'm, I'm not as good as... I'm not as good as Telroth at... I can be really sneaky when I need to be. Well, play it by ear and figure something out. Eh? Alright. Alright. Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you sound so, so confident. <laughs> it is... Um, what time are you guys going to head to Wyatt's house? Because it is... You were supposed to meet Wolfa and... Oh, what's his name? Forgot it. Doesn't matter today. Tavish! Um, Tavish. That's right. Tavish. You were supposed to meet them at dawn. Um, so I'm guessing you guys are having this conversation in the pre-dawn hours. Um, or are you... So Wyatt's probably not up. You, you He's a college kid. So well, are you delaying your, your trip by a day? No. Oh. I mean, you can. It's that's not a. It's not an issue. Um, I was just wondering if you were. What time you wanted to do this? You want to try to wake the house pre-dawn, um, or do you wait for dawn? Do you wait for classes to start? Um, do you delay the trip by half a day, a day? Um, I'd what... say maybe we. Yeah. All right, so we're, we'll go if, if, tell... If we get Wyatt around breakfast time, because mm -hmm. my fear is if we go too soon, he won't be amenable to anything. But if we buy him breakfast, a really nice one, and it we puts him in a good mood. We can't afford to buy him breakfast, so... How expensive is breakfast? If you do it correctly, very expensive. What if we buy him a really good sausage? He looks like he needs one. Again, master <laughs> friend. So, um... It's worth a try. Does he drink breakfast mimosas? So, let's bring him food and try to be nice to him. Yeah. Aye. Okay. I just pray that he's not a little shit. Well, how likely does that seem? So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna postpone for half a till Wolfa and Tavish. Okay. Yeah, we'll go inform them that we have to delay for half a day, but I think Okay. Do I foreseen circumstances? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're having Yeah, you you go ahead and let them know Tavish is um yeah, Tavish continues to be eerily calm and uh, just sort of takes it in stride. He seems to be in no great rush to return to the undead um, 
halls. Well, whatever it may have been. Um, at the same time, uh, Wolfa is anxious and definitely irritated by by the delay. But she's been around the block enough times to understand when things require some special attention. So, yeah, you, you go ahead and let them know at dawn. Um, Tavish is going back to sleep. Wolfa is going off to throw axes at something. And a few hours after dawn, uh, probably in the... Hmm, what are you, like eight o'clock hour, uh, you guys make an effort to track down Wyatt um, at his uh, student housing. Uh, as you guys come up, the housing that he's staying in, he is a graduate student as well. So they have, um, it's not quite palatial, but it is more of like a manor or an estate. Sort of like, I guess we would understand like a frat house or something like that. A large house that houses a number of individuals, but these guys are probably, guys and girls, are probably saying like one to a room other than um, underclassmen are probably in like a cotton footlocker sort of situation. So as you guys are making your way up, uh, this is near where Sarite had met at the previous day. Um, you see a couple of students making their way out. Different robes, pants, uh, clean shirts, nothing overly expensive, but they are traveling on their way uh, towards the main campus. Um, what would you guys like to do? Uh, pardon me, I'm so sorry. Uh, is Wyatt around? Oh, um, yeah. I actually, I think I saw him this morning heading into one of the alchemy labs. He said something about uh, doing some research on a piece. So I think he's, I think he's already on campus. Thank you. Yeah, of course. Right, no so problem. Do we want to try to? Do we want to try to steal it, or do we want? I, if he's if he's going, I would, and maybe this is again assuming things, but I would assume that he's working on the dragon <laughs> chess set right now, not something At else. At the alchemy lab. So I, I don't know. I I don't do any of the things that they do here. At this I I imagine he's probably doing something about his coursework. You, um, I will let you know the student you spoke with didn't seem 100% on why uh, Wyatt had gone in early. Alchemy Lab would have read much more as a guess than uh. a um, So yeah, he, he just kind of took a stab at, uh, at whatever Wyatt said this morning. So Okay. Something to keep in mind that if we ask him about it and he refuses to hand it over and then we attempt to steal it, I think he will know that we're the ones that stole it. Y yes. That's true. That's why I'm asking now. Do we want to steal it now? Oh. We can we can go to his room and I can try and break in. I mean, and... it's a small town. If, if we were worried about losing work from the school, I think stealing something from a student might... Like I said, as a last resort, I like it. As like a nothing else is going to work. But I don't know that it's the way to start because we need to make a living and well, and eat. What what we could... I'm Well, I'm pretty good at finding work. That's if fair. For some reason this goes under, but uh, I can <laughs> I can at least... I can at least go and look in his room and see if it's there. Just be careful. Of it, I can just kind of pop in, pop out. And if it's not in his room, then we go to the to campus. And if he isn't forthcoming, then we can go right to the deans and explain the situation and that he's being a right tit. That's also true. 
It was we sold can... fair, fairly. It wasn't. But we can we can claim it's a cursed item that has latched itself onto Sarai. And we are trying and to protect him and protect her. We are trying her. to break the curse, and he's refusing to cooperate. Uh, so we're unable to protect. Or him from being cursed. That spins us in like a really positive light. We didn't want the poor bastard to get cursed. We. So uh, did anybody ever look at what kind of magical properties this chest set had? I don't know. No one yeah, yeah. identified it. No one identified it. We didn't have it. None of us have it. Well, Except Screamers it. does. We. I didn't have him look at the. Set. I wasn't. I wasn't around for that. Screamers. Screebers knows magic items, oh, okay. and Screebers was very good at tasting potions and telling you what they were. Uh, okay, fair. Um, he he might be able to cast Identify, but no one had asked him to. They were just like, what are these potions? He's like, I'll taste them. It's human yeah, goo. I didn't, yeah. I didn't think there was a reason to, because it was an enchanted chest set. Yeah. That's why you should always ask, kids. How enchanted is this chest set? Yeah. How, how enchanted is this evening? So then let's go talk to him. Well, do we do we want me to check his room first? If we check his room, you can just see if you can finish the game now without even talking. Or without taking it, just try and finish where you left and off and see what happens. We could, that, we could try. I, d I don't think it will be in his room, but if if we... I, I think that checking it before we talk to him is the better of the two. Then let's do that. Do we need to distract or get rid of the roommate, the, the housemate who opened the door? That particular housemate was traveling uh, over to campus themselves, so it was, it was a couple of them, two people. Um, you suspect there are probably a few people still inside, but they're either getting ready for their day or they have later classes. So, um, you think the place is at least three quarters, two thirds to three quarters empty. All right. Um, does, his, does his room have a window? You're not sure which room is his. Mm. Mm. There are a number of windows, both on the ground floor and on the second and third floors. And it looks like there's like a small attic space uh, above that. And the place is pretty big, but um, you suspect at least I don't know, maybe 10, 20 rooms. 20, probably 10 per per second and third floor. And then you know, common areas down on the first floor. Um, you're not you're not 100% which room is his. So... I remember from... He's the one that had the altercation with uh, one Alvaro. of the professors in the... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do I remember anything he was wearing, like, uh, uh like a scarf or a certain thing that stood out? He had a pretty distinct, um, pin on his, uh, robe of his wizard lapel, wizard robes lapel. So, yeah, you could, you could home in on that if you wanted to. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cast lock, uh, locate object on that to see if it locates his room. Okay. Uh, that's what I'm hoping for, unless he has it on him. Okay. Um, roll me a... Roll me a percentile. Percentile. Why is it that whenever I'm home, my brain doesn't work on what a percentile is? <laughs> uh, 78. A 78. Um, so, yeah, you, you do actually catch uh, a glimpse of it. Um, it is... I'm going to let you know it's not in here. He is wearing it. Um, and you, you're probably more than a thousand feet from the main campus, but that's that's you feel it on the main campus. Can in, we search for the set in there? If uh, you want to cast it again for locate object. Yeah. Have I seen the set? Yeah, you've seen it. We're all, all right. traveling together. Um, then yes, I will go ahead and do that as well. Okay. Um, yeah, the lo the the chess set is with Wyatt on campus. Mm. Uh, it is with it is with him. It is not here. Damn. All right. 
gonna make well, stealing it a little bit harder. Then we're just um, going to have to talk about it. For the next ten minutes, I can just concentrate on its location, and we can follow if you'd like. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Might as well. Uh, it'll make locating him within the. Yes. I was hoping that David would be here, and I would just home in on him and make sure that Sorry. I can be lookout, but it happens. So you guys are heading to campus? True. Awesome. So you guys do uh, take off towards the campus utilizing the locate objects belt. It takes you uh, near the end of the 10 minutes, but as you're approaching, there are a series of magical ritual ropes that are utilized on campus in the Arcana, in the Arcana uh, wing where more of the official like magical study stuff happens where people go to like practice spells and things like that the ritual rooms are would assume are like lab rooms or all-purpose kind of study rooms where people set up and perform longer term rituals there is a um for all students part of their admissions and and dues and all of that stuff goes into uh, purchasing and maintaining stocks of a variety of um, spellcasting components so he it looks as though he's he's booked one of those um, the rooms usually do have some form of like arcane lock on them uh, to keep people from disrupting the rituals although uh, teachers can override those locks so as you're approaching you do identify the uh room that he is in um in and amongst them it's not the biggest room it's uh one that could probably probably has like one or two work tables and a big enough for like a 10 foot magic uh circle in it so not not huge but um but a decent size uh, what would you guys like to do? Is there a window into this room? So the magic room, uh, no. These rooms it, do not, they're contained. Usually they have um, like thick concrete and things like that. So that if any of the magics go awry. Wrong, right? Yeah, they're, they're safety uh, nets as well. Are there any teachers around? You could find one, absolutely. Yeah, there's there's none within immediate like eyesight, but you could uh, go and find one if you want to find a uh, a wizard teacher, or if you would like to find, you know, Alvaro, uh, or some of you at least know of Alvaro. Yeah. Um, it's he's probably the the teacher you um, would identify with the easiest. Uh, you guys have also made a couple of teacher friends. Um, I think, didn't Screevers come back with you guys? No, Screevers so. stayed there. Okay. No, he, he he readied the cart, because you guys brought a cart oh, back with you. Yeah. So but then he disappeared. Qualify? He did disappear after that, but he did take, he came with you. He disappeared uh, when you guys were talking about dragging him, but he made, the <laughs> yeah. When, Being an apprentice, would I qualify? Yeah. You do, so you are not, uh, you're not officially a teacher. You, at least not in, you'd be like a- I'm Not an apprentice. He's a yeah. grad student. Yeah, you're a TA in like the, the blacksmithing wing, but you don't have keys to the magical wing. wing. Yeah. Does his does his like direct above maybe have keys? It could. Yeah, uh, maybe. Or that that be a a more official channel to kind of go through it. Um, if you wanted to, you could do that. Absolutely. I mean, is Screamers around? You can look for him. He's not. So you guys are like in a hallway, and you haven't seen him on the walk go. Okay. Um, so either Thosin's direct contact or Screebers or Alvaro, these are all good points of contact. Um, or I guess you could just go to like the student help desk and be like, hey, <laughs> this guy's in the room. I need him to get out <laughs> if you want Alvaro and him already don't 
really see eye to eye, do they? That's right. Yeah. So they, would Al they, would they Alvaro be the one that should help us then? I, 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 I wonder if he might take that as an insult. Um, I, I don't. Oh, Alvaro or Wyatt take it as an insult. Wyatt. Probably. Why? Why it seems very sensitive when it comes to Alvaro and and almost vice versa, but um, then let's yeah. Not, yeah, let's not do them. Okay. Let's, uh, Master Fahrenheit. Do you have uh -huh. a teacher? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. I, um, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking course I do. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. The the head of the smithing department. Is um, is a human gentleman by the name of Orlif. Um, good guy, very strong craftsmanship. Um, his stuff is always sturdy, well enchanted, um, which is, seems to be his focus. He has great appreciation for more artistic um, smiths than himself, but for function and functionality. He is uh, tremendous. He's very, very good. So, if you want, we can try to talk to Orlef to see if he has any pull. That would be very helpful, I think. I can't get in uh, that door. <laughs> I don't think any of us can at this moment. Uh, yeah, let's. I was muted. <laughs> I, would assume, I would assume that he is. In the, in the forges. Yeah, that's a good so assumption. We can, we can go over there and check out. All right. Okay. Another 15, 20 minutes, you guys head over to the forges. Um, Orlif is getting the day started. He's, you know, lighting, lighting the, the kilns and um, getting things set up. There's a couple of students around, some of them uh, graduate students, some of them more promising undergrad students that are um, getting in some like open forging hours. Uh, a few of them are braiding um, brass and gold into like handles and pommels of swords and things along those lines. Um, nothing like big firework right now, more like small detail work. So you make your way over to Orlif. Uh, he sees you guys approaching as, as you come in. He has a short, tight uh, beard, but even that you can see sort of the the um, edges of it are singed. Um, his one of his eyebrows is seems to be like just over the the nose, like really just kind of over the central eye. Uh, so, okay, stayed by the door. Thank you. Um, what would you guys like to do? I'm, I'm gonna go up to Orlif. He's like, "Hey, Orlif, um, a question for you. Uh, yeah, I was wondering yeah. if you can help us out in a little situation that we have somehow gotten ourselves into that is a little bit above my quote-unquote pay grade." Oh, <laughs> well, I, I don't have a lot of a pay grade myself, but sure, I, I can. I'm willing to help however I can. It seems to be the problem. Um, Miss Lander, would you uh, care to explain a little bit more? Oh, uh, right. Um, uh, pleasure, Master Oleth. Um, I need to get into one of the rich rooms. Oh, um, all right. I mean, have you tried to book one or? Well, it's already booked and it's currently being used and it's locked. And oh. um, I need uh, someone a little more skilled. Then I am um, to get in. I, I think I understand. Um, is is everything all right, or is there something specific that we need to do uh, that we need to address? Um. Uh. It's fine. Um. Uh, there's a there's a young man in in one of those rooms who has something of great importance to me and. We're about to set out, and we've—I've already delayed our trip by so much. Um, he's just very difficult to, uh, to 
to follow up on his schedule and get in touch with, but I was wondering if you might be able to help us. Uh, yes, I, I suspect I... Can I win? And, um, meet you there in a... In a... They sort of, um, Orlif does a couple of fin final checks to tune. Burn something down and then, um, starts heading back the way, the way you guys came. Um, he stops off in one of the hallways where sort of the teachers would have their offices and things like that. These are probably much larger than we in a modern setting would be used to. They do require books library base um, level so um, yeah they're, they're of decent size he's in there for a few minutes uh, and then stepping out with him is a um, short gnomish woman who uh, it's always hard to tell ages of gnomes even young gnomes to me look old but this woman has her hair sort of in a in a wild kind of updo very kind of cotton candy pink um but it it might be pink because it's naturally turned gray and so it's easier to dye in a um in a fun and interesting color and she steps out and uh, introduces herself as uh, oh, Head Enchanter uh, Inu. Um, oh, uh, Inu Frost Leafs. Uh, pleasure. So, uh, I was understanding we're trying to get into uh, the room that I, I believe um, we've seen Wyatt has, has booked for uh, yes. the entire day. Um, is, is everything all right? Has something happened? What seems to be the issue? Uh, it, it was a small misunderstanding. I sold him uh, a piece of uh, a family heirloom and I am about to take off uh, traveling, uh, working with um, young Master Tavish. Oh, oh, that poor boy. Ah, uh, yes, I... yes. We're, we're, we're going to help him. And um, but before I leave, I need to get that item back. But unfortunately, he's locked himself in the room. You know how why it is, and it's a very important. Oh, all right. Um, make me a deception check. I didn't lie. It's not a family heirloom. I mean, it's not my family, but it's some. <laughs> make a obfuscation of truth check. So we'll just go ahead and call that a deception check. <laughs> Okay, that's an 11 plus 5 for 6. Okay. Um, she seems slightly wary, but she she gets the idea that you're mostly telling her the truth. Um, she heads over to the room and produces a uh, small ash wand and begins performing a, a small ritual on which you all recognize as a, a specifically magically enchanted door. And um, those of you, I don't think any of you have terribly high perception, but you get the idea that she is, um, the enchantment and the door allow her to look. So Saride, yeah, Saride, you would probably be the one that would notice this. Allows her to kind of look, peek through the door. This is a magical like peephole, basically. Oh, okay. Um, to check and make sure that everything is safe before she begins opening the door, right? Um, so, yeah, she, she looks in, um, gives it a thought for a few minutes, um, gives, gives it a knock. Is... is it, oh, my mic? Everything okay? No, you're good now. Good. You're good now. Okay, all right. Sorry, just catching up. Um, so, you, she gives the, the door a couple of knocks and um, waits a moment 
and then you begin to hear sort of the iron bars and magics uh, begin to unlock themselves and Wyatt uh, opens the door he goes oh Miss Frostleaf Mr. Orleaf and Sundry um Sundry motherfucker oh I've what? never been called a sundry before it sounds <laughs> fancy <laughs> what seems to be the problem Master Wyatt, if I may, the item that was in discussion yesterday. Yes. I'll be needing it back, sir. Well, unfortunately, I'm in the midst of a mystical study on the item, and we had agreed upon a price. If I was not mistaken, that price was met. Is it not? Yes. No, it was. And I was hoping that I could um, press on your kindness and gentility. Little you have. uh, But we've come prepared to pay that we might get it back again. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. I mean, the set itself is appropriately valued for what you asked for it, but it's the enchantment that I have a greater interest in um and he sort of opens the door and and steps back allowing um mistress frostleaf to to follow him in and any else anybody else that wants to wants to come in with him um so uh, who among you are heading into the room i think all of us okay everybody yep okay Sounds good. As you guys come inside the room, you see that on the bench, on one of the workbenches, um, is the chess set. It is set up uh, not the way that you had sold it to him. It um, it's a folding chess set, so it, all the pieces can fit like inside the box. It does travel a little easier, um, but it is in its open and then uh, set position. And it's where the game uh, had left off, except uh, one piece has has moved. Um, it looks as though, Sarai, your your opponent has made their, their next movement. Um, as you guys are coming in, Wyatt is continuing to talk to you. He says, well, I had noticed the enchantment on it when you had made the, uh, the sale to me. Uh, it befuddled me for, for a decent portion of the evening. I had attempted to set it up uh, to, to play a, a game or a set. Um, it didn't seem particularly enchanted or something about the magics had, had weakened or given given up. I initially thought when I awoke this morning, however, it did seem to have replaced itself in a very um, specific layout. And unfortunately, none of the pieces will uh, move for me. Uh, They all seem rather locked into place, which I suspect might be one of the reasons you're here to reclaim it. Uh, Yes. Yeah. I thought so. So, I must say that I did a bit of augury myself to see some of the um, previous events of this set. I'd like all of you that are trained to make me a Arcana check, please. And then... Arcana. Oh. Ooh. Um, 13 for a 17 total. Mm-hmm. Uh, is the div- divine's different, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. divine is different. A two for a six total. <laughs> um, Maybe knows st- nothing. <laughs> Stitch, what was your what was your number? A 14, 14 and 16. Okay, I think you guys will be able to identify um there is a 
There is a type of spell, a divination spell, that is... Uh, I forget the 5th edition name of it. Doesn't matter. It exists, because I say so. There's a 5th edition spell. There's an, a spell where you can, um, while holding an object, view the events that this object has has gone through. And so you get the idea that he's probably done something along those lines, even though there's a great many years where this thing has just lied dormant. Um, he uh, mentions this to you. And he says, so from what I can tell, a number of we're talking about a, a piece that has seen activity for the past, I think, perhaps 3,000 years, um, give or take a recent thousand. Um, but the set itself is predates most of the known history, uh, definitely predates the Albrechtian public. Um, I'm going to wait and see if Meg pops back in because this is important to her, I think. How's everyone doing tonight? Can you all hear me? Yes! Yes. Yes. Okay. Hear you, but we cannot hear. see you. <laughs> Actually, right. So, yeah, okay, that's... We see the floating autumn head? Mm -hmm. It's autumn, it's autumn. Mm. What did you think it was? Oh, no. I said I spring, I said pink. We like, because... It's... Yeah, they were like, which one should we send? I think send her autumn. And they were like, what? Send her all four. Maybe <laughs> yeah. No, she's she's been in autumn for a hot second. Uh, it's fine, just go. Okay. Um, Stupid face. It'll pop back in. I can also... Do I need to reset on my end? You're fine. If you could give me a quick recap of the last three, like... So it came in... Shit, what is moving on this desk now? My house is haunted. So, um... Yeah, if you could just do, like, a, a, a quick... What he said? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no problem. So you you came in, you guys had run the Arcana check, right. um, realized that he used a, a type of divination magic to see back into the history of this event, of this uh -huh. piece. Um, he says it's probably 3,000 years old, um, if not more. You can only look back so far. And he was just getting into the part where he was saying he believes that um, the chess set itself was a um, gift to La Rochelle from one of uh, the myths of Lichtracht uh, that he finds it very interesting, uh, if not from either the... the um, what does he call them? Um, if not from the scaled tyrant, then from one of their uh, students, one of their compatriots. So he, to sum up for tech purposes, he believes that this chess piece is a way that whoever's on the other side either has a connection or a lineage that leads to one of the mythical figures of, of Lichtracht. Ah, well, that is fascinating, Master Wyatt. However, um, I need to finish this game, but I also have things that I need to be doing. So how about mm -hmm. I make you a deal? If I can't finish the game in the next hour, it comes with me. I retain my sanity, and you keep your pretty face unclawed. And if I do finish it, then you can do whatever you want with it. And when I return, if if I take it with me, 
You can have it back. And where are you going? About my own business? The reason I ask is because if I'm right, we've established that this is a very valuable piece, not just to myself, but to the study of the history of Lechtrocht at large. And if you're going to take it someplace where you are unlikely to return from, or perhaps leave it buried again in some defiled tomb or high up on a mountaintop, then I th- think we run the risk of this of us losing a tremendous find. Now, how about a counter offer? You play for as long as you can today, and we'll keep it here uh, under the watch of the Magnus Exploratorium for you to continue your game when you return. If you return. If you don't, at least I'll have it to study. He's... What if you... Could you could you take or could you track one of something that we would be holding um, so that you know where we're going in case we? I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm sure we could. We could uh, work some divination magics, but we've also tried that on recent expeditions to be blocked or blinded. Uh, not sure if you all know, but some of the recent expeditions into the mountains have um, wandered themselves into areas that are dangerous to be scried upon. And by the same token, if you carry it into a very dangerous crypt and perish, well, and he kind of looks around the room at at the four of you. You're quite and capable And Fable is angry face. <sighs> You're quite capable adventurers if you all can't return from someplace that dangerous you're essentially dooming more people to come in after you to recover what is already safely here I'm gonna sit down and start playing okay make me an intelligence based um, proficiency check So intelligence plus proficiency? Yeah, because you are proficient in dragon chess, correct? Yes, sir. There you go. The proficiency is what right now? Two. Two. If you're proficient in arcana, it's the same. No, my intelligence is different. Oh, no, I'm I'm going to... I got you. Oh, bitch, natural 20. Or 24. Mm, I'll play the fuck out of this chess. I don't know how one does that, but... (laughs) <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so you you get you get a few moves in. Um, you get about you get about eight moves further into the game um, before once again you're greeted with the with the action of one of the pieces lifting, sort of giving you a no no. We're done for today, and and putting it back down. Right. So there's not going to be any playing today. Well, you you, you play for about an hour. Okay, um, but we don't finish. You don't finish. You, you're right. okay. Sorry. Yeah. So we're not going to be finishing today. About a third of the way into the game. And it all what stopped. What if? What if we give you enough money to pay for the chess set for you to hold while we... Uh, um, one of you make a persuasion check uh, to try to convince not just, not just Wyatt, but the, the teachers that are here now um, that letting the chess set go into a dangerous adventure is a reasonable uh, thing to do. Can I give it a shot? Please. Yeah, Stitch is, Stitch is just going to look at Sarai and kind of like give her an eye to like tell them. <laughs> Wink! 
to tell them the whole story. Oh, just... fuck. Eight. Eight. Okay. Fuck. It was a two. Oof. <laughs> Fable, Fable's just, we need our bird to be sane to keep us alive. And if this is part of it, why won't you just let her take it? I... You also have to consider the safety of her in something like this. It might, it, it might not be safe to separate them. If you think that the person on the other end of this is as strong as you think that they are, do you... It, I, I don't see that it... Um, Especially if we're then somewhere far away where you can't get to her and something happens where this chess set only wants her and we're days away. Well, make a... Uh, I'll take one more... I'll take one more... Persuasion check, yes. Who wants it? I got a plus I got a zero. plus three. I got a plus five, but I haven't said shit. <laughs> but you're charming so, as hell. So the plus three it is. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> to be fair, I, I was going to say, like, ditto, like what they said. But... Uh, give me a good roll. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why is the persuasion so high? I don't like it. 21! Yeah! Okay. Um... <laughs> The, you guys sort of talk and go round about with with Wyatt for, um, you know, I don't know, probably another hour, you know, discussing the merits of it. Um, he recognizes that it's dangerous for you guys, but you're also taking what could be a, a great historical find and marching it into areas that are, you know, um, You've lost multiple teams recently, and and it's a it's a dangerous world out there. So what is settled upon is that you guys are going to um, once the game is sort of stopped for the day, uh, Saride is able to break down the set uh, so that it could be repacked. Um, she's going to take the uh, Dragon King piece uh, from her side of the of the play mat um, as a hopefully as a symbol to whoever's on the other side that that they intend to return and finish the finish the game okay so um, I am going to attempt to refresh things on my end and see if that helps. I've been I've been hitting mark. the button this whole time. I'm so sorry, guys. No, and that's oh, that's and that's what and that's why we're that's why I'm gonna do it here. All so, good. So yep. Um, big refresh, refreshing the whole page. You um, can still hear you great though. Yeah, yeah. Which is which is really good. Um, yep. It's gonna be joining the game here also, in just a moment. It. It's silly, but make sure that Roll20 still knows that you want to broadcast video. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I, I, no, I know. No, no, no. You're fine. I'm... You're good. Is this a, a, a separate? No, it's like the it's the one on the laptop. Mm. Got it. Yeah, we knew tonight was going to be weird tech issue night, but thank you all for being champs. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys in the chat. Thanks for hanging out. Um, we know that this is a, a weird format for us. Yeah. Um, so hopefully all the information is getting through to you guys. Hopefully you're you're uh, still finding it interesting. Um, I'm going to reconnect my cam, see if that helps anybody for any reason. Nah. I'm going to do it on my end. Okay. Yeah, re try re all learning. reloading the whole page. So, yeah. Bye. This is Come this on. this is better than no D and D. Yes, true. it's true. <laughs> yeah, it is. Also, it is absolutely true. I weirdly feel like now that I understand the for ooh, it moved. Um, it's back. It's back. Ah, ah, ah. Caitlin, what? 
Hold on. It might be on my end. Stand by. <laughs> there she is. We're dropping my flies. Okay. Ooh, I lost Meg again. No, I'm right here. No. See Meg. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> okay, there we all are. Ready to bunch it up. Got one. Got one. Got two. Okay. Got that one. Yeah, everybody. Cool. 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 So we're here. And now I have the dragon set and we can go. Yeah, you have there your dragon go. piece. Hey, dragon, put him in your cleave. Okay. No, my lady, he's going in the bag. What the hell? Sorry, I'm used to um, Natty. Natty. Like, that's where it would go. Yeah. No, it would go under one of them. Oh, that's fair. Just nestled in the under boob. Yep. This is what you come for, folks. Under boob. Under boob. In technical difficulties. <laughs> which is now the name of this episode. Technical difficulties. <laughs> Awesome. Under boob <laughs> and technical difficulties. You're welcome. But, um, That'll surely be monetized. <laughs> yep. Because of this difficulties. Yes. yes. It's the word technical they really like. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what would what would you guys like to do now? Do you, you want to set out into the woods um or is there something else here in town you would like to get done uh what would you guys like to do i don't think that we have any oh um, i have shopping money uh fable what what did i do i'm sorry i didn't mean no. to yell at him i was just trying to protect you and i was just no 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 no, no darling you didn't do anything wrong i i wanted to give you this and she's gonna pull um the wand of the more Warm age out of her hair. The what? And, uh, and sort of uh, hand it to her. What is it? Hand it to you. Yeah. Take it, Kronk. Feel the power. power. Oh, I could feel it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this was a gift to me, and I think it was given to me so that I might be better protected. But I think in your hands is the best way for me to be protected by it. What do I? What does it do? It, I've it, never it, had one. It helps you focus your magic. So it's a little more um, uh, dangerous. Ooh, I like that word. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking um. goblin. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I think you should have it. And she's just gonna throw her arms around you in a massive fucking hug that's just accidentally sparks mm -hmm. oh i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm so sorry i just got when i get excited it just comes out and oh you're it's still right. a bit on fire <sighs> it, it's all right maybe not that but it's all right you sure you want me to be more dangerous that was uh it focuses your magic i think that's good for you oh thank you i you're not wrong but you are I... getting so much better thank you I didn't touch any of the fires in the forge, even though I really wanted to. I know, I was so proud of you. I, it was a lot. It was very hard. And they were very bright. They were so pretty and, and very, warm. Very hot. Um, Are you all right? I'm fine. I need to go find those in real quick. Oh. So I just okay. thought of something. Uh, um, um, all right, thank you. I'll, I'm going to get to know the wand and I'm going to name it. <laughs> Oh god, she's just gonna start sniping at the entire town. I'm just no, it's an attuned item, right? Yeah. That I'm just gonna sit here and get to know it for an hour and talk at it and see what name it likes. All the good circus performers name their tools. Could you be any cuter, my god? Yes. Wait. <laughs> oh no. Um, Master Fahrenheit. Uh, yes. <laughs> yep, there she is. I, 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 um, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, the other day when we were out about the, in the tower, uh, Treasure had mentioned that you were a, a man of the cloth, and I, I didn't know if you had a, a title or something that you would like to be undressed by. Addressed by. Um, <laughs> um, I kind of like blush real quick uh, <laughs> with that Freudian slip, and uh, Caitlin. Uh, well, not not exactly. It's it's a little bit more. I 
I worship him, but I do not spread the worship, if that makes sense. So, like, the way that I spread my worship is through my craft. Like, the forgery is what I do. It is how I pass on my love to Brana's through uh, metal. Uh, some some people worship as telling stories and doing it verbally. I do it more with my hands. Your work is wonderful, by the way. Treasure's new armor is absolutely exquisite. Thank you. And if, if you ever need me to... Oh, um, I'm not really... hands uh... on anything and, you know, finagle with it, just let me know. <laughs> She passes out. No, um, <laughs> <laughs> I cast her ones. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and she's just gonna walk away. Okay, I will see you uh, at departure. Mm. She'll be in her bunk. Okay. So, um, here's what I would like to do. I'm gonna set you guys off on your journey. Um. Caitlin, any purchases that you need to make in town, we can go ahead and make them off stream. Um, I'm good. The I'm only thing, fine now. Okay. The only <laughs> thing that is um, you should know is you could have purchased, I think, was it two healing potions? Oh. No, 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 bought, no, no, no. We bought the only healing right. potion that we could have. The only other one was like 300 gold for the for the potion of she could have gotten a wand of armor of agathas i'm good we also have two healers with us tonight so i don't feel the need to buy extra potions i'll save up in case we have to buy this back from wyatt later like i will save my money for a better cause i have a new toy i don't know his name yet i mixed up games is what happened so i apologize for that Ooh. um so uh what i would like to do tonight partly for a um, technical reasons, partly to just um, work out how combat's going to work during this. I would like to do a combat with uh, with some giant wasps yes. um, for for the remainder of our time tonight. So quickly. Oh. Go ahead. Was the was the wand of the more war major plus one? Thank you. That's all. Also, um, as a note, who what is Thosin's? Um, Sorry, what? The your enchantment. Who, who do you want? Oh, oh, that's right. Because Sorak is not with us today. Who is the most squishy? <laughs> Hi. Does it work on only physical armor? Or does it is standby, hold for show. Divine domain, blessing of the forge. At the end of the long rest, so I would have done it in the morning, uh, I can imbue a uh, magic into a weapon or armor by touching it. It's non magical version. And that it ends up being a plus one. So if it goes on okay. armor, it has to go on you or me. If it goes on a weapon, it could go on Fable, myself. Um, I would never say no to Morris. <laughs> but no, no, I mean, like, it would have to, sorry, if if he does it on armor, it would have to be Clever Stitch or Thosin, oh, because Sarai what doesn't armor? have any physical armor to <sighs> get. Because the spell specifically says armor or weapon. Um, then, yeah, which one of you wants the weapon, then? Hey, how about we give it to, um, the gentleman tanking? So, Thosin, or is that me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because I'm okay, like... Take it, Thosin. It it's you. I'll, DM decided. Right. <laughs> I will you take can. it, then. Go touch yourself. I will add it to my uh <laughs> I'll add it to my AC. Okay. <laughs> Let's go fight Let's some remember. fucking rock. That's how he does it, head cannon approved. 
Sounds good. Change approved. Um, change approved. So, you guys have traveled into the forest for um for the following day. And you guys separate from the group, uh the group continuing on the main road. You guys are doing some hunting uh as you are making your way about. Also, this is the area in which the um giant wasps are known to be specifically you're looking to harvest and acquire uh their stingers so there is a chance that they will sting and break and be out of poison um you're trying to accomplish that without that i am gonna try a little music swap here to this fucking roll 20 chat is lit y'all you don't know what you're <laughs> uh... i'll put that back up for people to see okay technical stiff, stiff. oh <laughs> i'm mad at you for that i'm so mad um I it. so there is a digital card deck we're gonna not play with today everybody should have their own set of cards um actually i tell you what i'm gonna use the digital card deck because I don't have a set of cards uh, immediately around me. And we're going to, yeah, look at that. As you guys are, shuffle, yeah, give that a shuffle. Good battle music choice, by the way. Oh, thank you, it's called Very Cry good. Havoc. Yes, I know, I'm familiar with all of the tabletop audio. <laughs> I'm just going by name. No, it's well uh, done. Thank you. So, I would like you guys to, uh, as you guys are making your way into the area, you hear the loud thrum and buzzing and the snapping of branches and leaves out in the distance. Uh, you can definitely hear and tell that some of the, you've kind of stumbled into, maybe not very close to the wasp nest, but close enough to have angered a few of them. Um, I'd like everybody to flip for initiative, please. Yes. Oh. Oof. Yes. So, uh, on, I think we can all tell my, uh, wasp around a king. Anybody flip an ace? Me. You did? All right. Yes. You are up first. The wasps are about 60 feet away. Um, what would you... How many of them are there? Uh, you do not see right now. Right now, you can, uh, you see a total of, uh, four. Yeah. Four. Okay, great. Amazing. Um, <sighs> holding my new, holding my new friend. Um, I am going to, uh, try a spell. And that spell, when my sheet decides to scroll properly. Um, is going to be... Fuck it! We're gonna do Chaos Bolt! Ugh. You are. Yeah, it's my new spell. Okay. It's my new spell. I love it. Excited. Ooh, shit. Sorry. I'm gonna get okay. my dice roller up. 17 to hit? Absolutely, yeah. 17 Damn. does hit. Amazing. So that is, uh... If I roll the same on both these dice, it gets to jump to another target. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. I have this. Give me another d8, damn it. Thank you. Uh, and I get to decide what type of damage it is with a roll. Oh, uh, okay. I, oh, on both the d8s, because my d6 and one of my d8s are the same number, but it's fine. Um, so that is... 13 points of cold damage. Okay. Yeah, the Chaos Bolt leaps from the end of your wand and the frost begins to creep over the, the loud thrum of the uh, of the wasp body. It does catch its wings frozen and cold. It sort of falls to the ground. Doesn't quite shatter, but you definitely hear sort of that creakle and snap of its uh, exoskeleton beginning oh, to gross. break apart. It is, it is defeated. Oh, shit. Okay, great. As a bonus action, I'm going to cast Mantle of Flame on myself. Uh, okay. Leave myself in fire for one minute. Uh, if someone hits me, I talk about it, but that's fine. 
Okay. Sounds good. Uh, on a king. Uh, anybody else before I go? Okay. So, the giant wasps come wheeling towards you, those three of them, and then you hear another four sort of coming in from the east. Um, they're going to swarm in and around you guys. Uh, we're going to do uh, two attacks to everybody except for Sarai. Sarai's only going to take one, and I'm just going to roll these in order to see. So. That's going to be 7d20 plus 4. Roll. Look at them go. Go, guys, go. Oh! Well, that's that's not what I wanted that to do, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> 6 is going to miss the ride. Uh, 12 against Fable. That should miss, I believe. Um, 20 against Fable. I believe that's going to hit. Uh, Clever Stitch, both an 8 and a 5 definitely going to miss you if you on the natural one if you would like to take a reaction to um either knock it prone or uh yeah i'll give you a, a prone attack yeah can i can i shove it yeah absolutely you said, you said they're flying at us mm -hmm. okay um the one that hit me the other 20 is going to take um let me let me get through them and and Go. you can let me know but thank you i appreciate that and then Thosin, uh the 10 should miss but the 23 i'm guessing hits correct okay i'm gonna roll damage for you guys once and i would like all of you uh to make me a constitution saving throw only those that got hit yes I those think, those or... of you that got hit yeah thank you Okay. So, each of you is, that got hit is going to take uh, 20 points of damage <gasps> per hit. Anybody get hit more than once? Nobody got hit more than once, right? Yeah, nobody. Ooh. Okay. Um, so, uh, Fable, your re your wreath of flame what does it do three points of fire damage to that bitch okay three points of fire damage <sighs> mm -hmm. and i'm spitting up blood okay there it is so those of you that get hit, you can feel the large stingers. These wasps are the size. Uh, they're about five foot five. If they, if you were measuring from like head to stinger, the wings uh, have like a good six, eight foot uh, wingspan. They're thrumming wildly as they come sweeping in the stingers that uh, pierce into you, pull free and like little barbs catch and inject poison as uh, they're drawn free. Uh, the pain surges through you. It is so it's a total of eight points of piercing, and then the other three d six on the poison. So you twelve points of that. Anybody, everybody that made your Constitution saving throw, it's a DC of eleven. Yes. Did anybody fail? Oh. No, thirteen. Eleven. Oh. Eleven. Eleven succeeds. Good. Yes. Okay. So good. Um. Sorry, right, ignore that. I was. I... Wait, hold on. Uh huh. Okay. So, since both of you succeeded your constitution saving throw, this website is terrible for its wording. Um, you you all get six hit points back. So it was half damage on the poison if you saved, and you guys did. So, okay, that is it for the wasp on a king, uh, queen, Jack, 10, nine, nine, eight. nine. nine. Uh, I think Clever Stitch has you on dexterity. Clever Stitch, you're up. Yeah. 
Um, alright, so I have two of them on me. I'm gonna risk an attack of opportunity. So you have one of them on you, because you got the, the natural one. Yeah. You shove that one five feet yeah. away. So I shove... Yep, so there's only Correct. one attack Sorry. of opportunity so have... that you're risking. Perfect. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and check that out there. Uh, that's eight to hit. That's gonna miss. Um, I will do a um, sharpshooter attack on the one fighting. Okay. Got Nothing's it. on me. But uh, one of them did. Yeah, one of them tried, tried to hit you. Just... Okay. Thank you. Uh, so with my minus five because of sharpshooter, it's a third. Barely hits. Oh, God bless. Okay, so 1d8 plus 14 okay. damage. 22 damage on the... On the on the wasp. The arrow comes sailing through it. Um, initially, it looks like it's barely gonna, gonna catch it, but you end up right between, like, the thorax and the abdomen, and it just sort of splits it right there at that at that narrow uh, waist-like uh, joint, and the bottom portion of, of the wasp uh, falls to the ground. The other side sort of wobbles and flies and then uh, crashes into a tree. One is defeated. Hell yeah. And then I'm going to action surge and do the same thing against the um, the one that tried to uh, tried to attack of opportunity okay. me. Um, and it'll it'll also be a shark nice. shooter. Ooh, that one's gonna miss. That. Seven, yeah, seven <laughs> does miss. Yeah. Okay, uh, so right. Um, so first of all, um, mantle of inspiration, so everybody gets four temp hit points. Okay. Yeah, and um, you can use if you want. You can use your reaction to move. Um, sorry, let me see what this says. Um. You can immediately use your reaction to move up to your speed without provoking opportunity attacks. Probably should have gone first sitch. I apologize. And um, yeah, and then she's going to start playing a fable song. So she gets some healing word. Can we hear it? No. <laughs> I'm not, I am not I am not ready. I am really scared. I'm shy. Oh. Listen, oh. with all the drama we went through today, you can do anything. This team can do anything. <laughs> I don't rem I don't remember it. I I haven't been I haven't been studying these things as well as I should have. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Um what the fuck is a healing is word? Healing word at second. Thank you 2d4. Four. Uh, four. 4 plus your 4 uh, plus your charisma modifier. So four plus oh. baby girl, I rolled real good. So How many? Twelve. Hold on, man. <laughs> oh, I'm like one away from full. <laughs> yeah. Or two it's away. It's a really from good full. song. Well done. It's a really good. Song. Thanks, Sydney. <laughs> Thank you, Sydney. Awesome. Uh, okay, so Thosin, what card are you on? I've. That's your turn, buddy. Cool. Uh, with the mantle. Uh, wait, hold on. How many are around me? Four. Two. Two. Bees or wasps or two. Whatever the hell we're fighting. Cool. Um, and then uh, so I'm going to. Wait, we can move up to our speed. Yes. Uh, yeah, it's a real. Yeah, I can't afford to get hit again right now. Um, I'm gonna run thirty feet away from the two that are on me. Okay. And but I want to still stay within sixty feet of Saride. So uh, you're using I... your reaction to move. Correct. Okay. From the mantle of inspiration. Correct. Great, and that does not provoke attacks of opportunity. Correct. Great. So what else you got? Um, I want to move. 30 feet away from them, but stay within 60 feet of Saride. Good. Got it. And then my action, I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself, because mm -hmm. I need it. And uh, as level one, and bonus action, uh, because you can cast two spells as long as it's not the same type of... 
Can't be the same type of dice, and the total spell level can't add, has to, cannot exceed your maximum spell level. Yep. Correct. Okay, so my maximum is that. Yep, I can do it. Uh, I'm going to cast Shield of Faith on Saride. Plus two to your AC. Okay. Nicely done. I'm never going to (laughs) die! And then, uh, in case you want to know, I rolled a seven plus whatever my wisdom is for my health. Nice. Nicely done. Okay. Uh, I think that's it for the round. New round. Flip them up. Yeah. Okay. Up top, Ace. Clever Stitch. All right. So uh, I still have two of them around me. So um, I'm going to shoot the um and yeah no no sharpshoot. Mm-hmm. Ooh, I should have though. Oh, uh, that's a <laughs> does hit absolutely. Perfect. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a shot on okay. it, and I'm gonna make it a beguiling. Ooh. Oh, All right. Um. The fuck? Fucking Dean. Weird. Okay, so um, it's two d six psychic. Are they immune to psychic damage? Uh, they are not. Okay, perfect. So that is going to be ten. Four. So twenty damage. How much damage? Twenty. Oh yeah, absolutely. Dropped another. Yeah. Uh, what what was the target of that one? It was the um the bee that attack of opportunity. Got it. Mhm. And uh, that's all I got. Okay. Um. So your psychic arrow uh swings into the wasp. Psychic damage bursts into its brain. Um, I don't know how wasp brains work, but um, a little, it like vomits and then falls. Yeah. So after Clever Stitch on the ace, king, queen, jack, 10. 10! Okay. Um, I I was pushing too many buttons. Um... And Meg, your singing was perfect and thematic, and we enjoyed it uh, immensely. Um, okay, I am wand. Um, going to wand. Fucking PDF. <sighs> Sorry. Fucking PDF. Um, I am going to. Yeah, how many are left in the area? Uh, two facing you. Right. One uh, facing Clever Stitch, two that had been facing Thozen. So that is a total of five. God damn. Okay. Uh, um, I'm going to. Is it in melee with me? Yes. Okay, great. Um, I am kind of away from everyone else. I'm hoping, though, if I cast Thunder Wave, I can just hit my wasp. Sure. That's right. Amazing. I'm going to Thunder Wave. Okay. Um, at they're squishy at first level. Okay. Okay. On the wave. It's a Constitution saving Ooh. throw. Yes, I don't know why I rolled. Okay. I I rolled well, but it's fine. The first one saves with a fourteen, and the second one yeah rolls a fourteen. Does it save? Yeah, Bear meets it, beats it. Okay, but they still take half damage. They just don't get pushed away from you. Yeah, that's that's fuck. Um, 2d8 thunder damage. Thunder. That's attack modifier, not damage modifier, but the wand is. So nine points of thunder damage. Mm-hmm. Okay. So one of them is barely holding on. The one that had uh, stung you earlier but caught the flames of your uh, of your wreath. The other one doesn't look great either, uh, but it's mm. it's better than its buddy. Uh, so anything else fable? Uh, 
Yes, I. we said I can make a reaction to run. Can I just do that now instead? That was no, that was during Sir Ryan. That was specifically it, it, that turn. That wasn't like an existing yeah. thing. Yeah. I apologize. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I must stand here like a fool um, and get stabbed again, but that's fine. I will hit them with my magic. Um, okay. That's fine. That's that's okay. Um, I'm good. I'm good. Thank okay. you. Uh, so on a nine, I believe is my, yep, them's my wasps. So the two that Fable had just attacked are going to attack My mantle her. of flame is going to kill them. <laughs> yep, probably, but they're too dumb to know that. Yep. Um, so the first one attacks, uh, rolls a five. Yes. Uh, so that is a natural one. Uh, if you'd like to make a melee reaction, uh, yeah, you can. Um, the second one, uh, 13 to hit. Miss. Okay. Um, also, for a melee attack, what technically wielding a strength weapon, so we get no plus. Staff, so, yeah, it would just yeah. be your proficiency. 13 to, to hit. hit. Yeah. It's, yeah, that hits. And I wield it with two-handed, so that bitch is a D8. D8. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Eight plus, zero. plus oh, not yeah. plus my proficiency. No, no, it's for your for your damage. Six. It's six. Six is enough. Yeah. So that that particular wasp, the one that had sung you earlier, comes swinging in. You dodge out of the way, slam your staff into it. It falls to the ground as the other one flies overhead. Clever Stitch, the one uh, that you had not bisected with an arrow, it comes soaring straight at you, attempting to uh, attempting to give you the stabs. Uh, 16 to hit. Oh, 16 meters. Alright, give me a um, constitution saving throw, please. You're giving the plus one to you. Uh, 23 does save, so that is going to be, I know how I'm doing this, here we go. Okay, so 7 points of piercing damage, and then 9 points of poison reduced to 5, total of 13 points of damage. Got it? Okay. And then after Clever Stitch, Thosin, since you have separated from them, one of them is going to rush over to Saride, and then the other one is going to continue to chase down Thosin. Um, so we're going to start with the attack on Saride. That is 18 to hit. Saride, that's 18 to hit. Does that hit you? Yes! Well, you had mage armor, which is 13, <laughs> plus your dex modifier, plus his two from Thosin. Yes! <laughs> okay, uh, I'll need a, a constitution saving throw from you. And then uh, second one for Thosin. Uh, that's 14. That's going to miss Thosin. Um, so let's set this here and against the ride that's seven points of piercing damage. Okay. Uh, uh, what was your con con save? I didn't make one cause I didn't get hit before. Oh, would you please make a con save? No, cause I don't like your tone. <laughs> make a con save. <laughs> Stop it. Um, I don't want to encourage that kind of behavior, okay? <laughs> it's a 19. Okay, so you are going to take three points of poison, total of ten points of damage. Okay. okay. Thank you. You got it. Uh, that is it for the wasp on nine. Eight, seven, six, five, 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 eight. Five. Eight. 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 Those ends eight. Those ends yeah. eight. Okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, is my mic not working? <laughs> All right, those and you are up. Um, I got hit by one of them, right? No, not this time. Um, one of them oh, attacked but... you, but missed. Rolled a 14 But it's hit. a melee with me. It is, yeah. 
Perfect. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swing my mace. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, the obsidian mace. And... Oh, so close. Natural 19. Definitely hits. Absolutely. Okay. Do I want to do this? No, I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, that'll be... Six plus... Four, so that's ten damage. Ten damage. Okay, Mm -hmm. ten bludgeoning damage. Nice. It is still holding on, uh, but not by much. And then as a bonus action, I am going to use my shield master feet to shove it five feet away from me. Okay, nice. And I'm going to run 30 feet towards the ride. Okay. Uh, Is there any sort of action that you need to do the shove? It's a bonus action. Okay, but is there a roll or a check or anything? Uh, no, it just says if I take an action on my turn, I can use my bonus action to shove a creature within five feet with my shield. Shoved. Uh, if I... Da, 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 da. Cool. Done. Shoved. Yep. Well done. That, that's it. Okay. Um, and we're over to Saride. Okay, so... Everyone's healthy. Then I'm going to take my dagger out and try to poke at a wasp. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. She I have... has one of those? <laughs> she does. <laughs> she does. And with a pointy end. Fuck off. Pointy end goes another person. <laughs> <sighs> um, <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted. That's. I don't know how to do this. I never look at it. Okay. Oh, that's a 10 to hit. Uh, 10 is going to miss. Oh, that's strange. Then, um, because I have nothing else to do. Oh, I can't do that. I'm going to run away. Okay, it's going to take an attack of opportunity if you do. I'm 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 just going to stay right there. Okay. And start start playing like it's the end of the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> There's fucking nothing I can do. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. Uh anybody left? All right, new round. All right, well you guys are We all go before Cody. <laughs> oh no, I get to redraw. Ah, oh, fuck. They have it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. We all go before Cody. Nope. Yep. Uh, who had the highest? Those and what do you got? A king. Like go for it. You're in, up, buddy. In a row. King. Okay. Oh, got it. Got it. Got it. Nice. Uh, okay. Um, I, since I had said that I was going to stay within sixty feet, can I get to ride from here? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Perfect. I. I'm just gonna like run and swing at the one that's on her. Okay, sounds good. Uh, with the mace, that is oh, what is that? Eight plus four, five, six, eight plus six, so that's fourteen. Fourteen, yeah, that'll hit. Yeah, that is five, six, nine bludgeoning. And uh, I'm gonna. Okay, it's still up. Oop. Okay, and then I'm gonna use uh, my shield master action again as a bonus action to shove it five feet away. Okay, and I'm gonna get between the two. Okay, yeah, you shove it five feet back. You inner uh, pose yourself between Saride and the wasp. Sounds good. Uh, I think that's it for you, Clever Stitch. Uh, all right, so. Are any of them un- one? All right, I'm the one that shoot. the one that chased you down and got in melee with you and ah. missed when it attacked oh. you. Ah, gotcha. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna take five. I'm gonna step back okay. five feet. Maybe in in current attack of opportunity. Sounds good. Here we go. Attack of opportunity is a sixteen. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, can I have a con saving throw? Yeah. Uh, wow. Uh, 
Um, you're going to take 22 points of damage. Um, I'm, are you still up? I am, I am, I am at ex- exact. Okay. Um, when, uh, if the poison damage reduces the target to zero hit points, the target is stable but poisoned for one hour, even after regaining hit points and is paralyzed while poisoned this way. Good. Oh, Great. Fuck. Love that. I beg your pardon, right. what? Cool, cool, cool. Tight, tight, tight. cool, 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 cool. Oh, he's, he's stable. He's not I dying. Really, I really, really should have used my second wind before I attacked. Uh, all right. Well, uh, I have That was including your temporary hit points? So, good night. Oh, that okay, went just away making sure. Those, those, yeah, no, those went away whenever I. Uh... Fuck. Sorry, buddy. the 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 roller was hot for that it? one. Yeah. Um. Okay. Then Fable. Hi, hello. Uh, you said I. I. She doesn't know how to heal. Anyway, she's just gonna start screaming maniacally and in panic. Um, because for the second time now, she's watched Clever Stitch die before her eyes, and it's not okay. She's just gonna never leave his side after this. It's traumatic. Um, I'm not sure. Uh, um, I am going to. There were two that hit him. There was one. There was one. Fuck that one in particular. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hit it really hard with a okay. second level chromatic orb. Mm-hmm. Because of course I am. God, thank God, barely. Um. Fourteen does hit. Yep. Oh okay. Um, and that is because it's second level. All the D eight. Forty eight. Type of damage. Fire, because she's angry. Okay. Blue fire. And when you use fire spells, don't you get to add your? Oh yes, I do. Modifier it's a too. lot of damage. It's a nice. lot of damage. And any ones, any ones that. Oh yeah, she's got a lot. She's pissed. Oh my god, it's fine. Outworld really, really well. Eight, five, 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 eight, five, five, six. There we go. Ten, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 four, twenty, five, twenty, five for the wand. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight for the charisma extra damage. Kill as yeah. fuck. I'm hoping. Yeah, um, absolutely. It just is- turns to ash. Gone. Um, Immolates. Yep. She and just screams this. Um, also, as um, she is go. Huh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Fuck. Um, is there another one somewhere? Yeah, there's one actually fighting you. Good. I'm using twin spell to aim another at of the same spell at that. Okay. Um, so if you're if you're aiming the one that's in range of in melee, it's at disadvantage. It's fine. <laughs> Okay. That's fine. Um, but the, I, I don't burn the spell slot because I just aim the same spell, which is mm-hmm. worth the disadvantage roll. Mm-hmm. <gasps> Rose, man. Um, <gasps> 12! Barely hits. Oh, thank 12, God. 12 okay. is their AC. Oh, thank God. <laughs> All the fire! Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a one, so that's a two. That's another one, so that's another two. Eight, three. So... 5, 8, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 points of fire damage. Out. Second one out. Ah! Um, only, only two remain. Uh, the uh, one in melee with Thosin and the one that Thosin had abandoned just a moment ago. Amazing. She's just actively on fire now. Okay. Uh, and it's fine. Um, but she has no more actions left. Okay. So Sarayad, what is your dex? None. Oh. So it is the wasp's turn. Um, oh. Thosin, is, one of them is going to attack Thosin, because he is right there. And the other right. one, let's do Thosin first. Uh, 22 to hit. I'd like a constitution oh, sure. saving throw, please. Uh, 11. Eleven. Eleven saves, barely. Eleven is the target. So five points of piercing damage, uh, seventeen reduced to nine, a total of fourteen points of damage. Are you up? 
I am okay. Um, the other one is going to attack. It's either Saride or Fable. We're going to give it an even or an odds roll. Uh, She's screaming at it to come at her. She's fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Rage uh, Genasi. Yep. Fable. It's <laughs> you. So, breathed in flame. Breathed in flame. And anger. And anger. Tiny squeaky mm. anger. That I'm... hits. Uh, I'd like you to make a constitution saving throw, please. That's fine. It takes three damage of fire. Three damage of fire. Because that one didn't want to roll for me well. <laughs> oh, okay. oh no oh no did it die yeah um hang on as it stabs you as it's st- that's the most wasp like thing to do honestly like is mm-hmm. singer falls out it dies um but i did not roll well on my save that's an eight okay so you're going to take 17 points of damage <laughs> are you up yes what's 35 minus 17 uh 18 Thank you. I'm fine. Okay. So the wasp stabs into you. The flames reach up its stinger, uh, begins to burn it out and away. Uh, its wings try to flutter as it pulls back and just sort of thumps onto the ground, its little legs curling inward uh, the yeah. way dead bugs do. Dad, bitch! Uh, so, Ride, your turn. Right. Um... Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to. She's going to cast. She's going to cast what? Heroism. Okay, heroism. At second level. So first it's Thosen. So you get four temp hit points and. You can't be afraid. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. Um, she's gonna just give him a little, a very, very quick like back hug, and then run to Stitch. And <sighs> he's getting the other half of heroism. Okay. So you get he gets four temp hit points. Mm-hmm. Um. Now. Would you call that a heal? Then I'm going to bonus action healing word him. At first level. Mm-hmm. So 1d4. Don't roll like a dick. Oh, I knew it was for you. So seven point, seven extra points. I, th- I thought you were going to say, oh, I knew it was for you. So, so you got... Yeah, nothing. <clears throat> yeah, so she comes over and puts his tongue back in his mouth and gives his tongue a rub. Touches all he of his... Stays, he stays remarkably still, although you know. <laughs> that's, how, that's actually how she does it when he's dying. She just starts touching his toe beans. <laughs> and then just waits. <laughs> and that's it. Make a, um, make a medicine check for me. Sarai. Okay. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Fuck! It's an eight. Okay. Um, you know that he got healed. You're not 100% sure why he's not moving. Um, so, that's what you got. Um, yeah, a new round. All right. Thosen, I believe you're up with 10. Okay. Shit. So I have one a minute with me. That's it. That's the last one. I don't know what's wrong with Stitch. Don't matter. Okay. I'm going to swing at the one in front of me again. Mm -hmm. Pissed off as hell. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. That's a natural one. Ooh. All right. It's going to take an attack of opportunity on you. Um, That is. Here we go. Oof. 
course it did. Yeah, it bounced back. Make me a constitution saving throw, please. Natural 19. Okay, so you save against the poison. And in all fairness, I forgot to roll the concentration check for spirit, uh, uh, Shield of Faith. Go ahead and make it now. Um, that's fine. So that is six points of piercing damage uh, plus three points of poison, total of nine points of damage. Uh, I'm still up. Okay. Oh, not, not heal damage. What am I doing? Oh, and Shield of Faith drops. I rolled a six. Okay. I'm a poor. <laughs> Are you? Um, okay, Thousand. Fuck. any bonus actions? Uh, hold on. I'm like I'm trying to see if, as my bonus action, I can still shove it, or if I have to hit it in order to shove it. I think you can still shove it. If you take an attack action on your turn, okay, yeah, then I'll do that. I'm gonna shove it, and then run same towards Stitch, uh, mm-hmm. and get between. Is there any way that I can get between it and both of them, or can I get between only him and Stitch, or him and Saride? Uh, you can kind of split. You can. Definitely be over Stitch. It'll it depends on which way Saride ran. So, um, oh, she ran to Stitch to touch him. So yeah, you can you can stand between them and the group. Absolutely, I'll do that. Okay. Um, looking back at the numbers, Fable. Mine. Okay, good. Uh, one more. Wingardium chaotic orbs. At uh, at that. That's. Chromatic orb. That's what I got right now. Yeah, do it. Yeah, do second it. level, because I'm out of first level slots, so, and this is what I do. Ooh, okay. I thought it was a one. It's a seven. Um, I panicked for a minute. Um, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen to hit. Then it hits, and that's a big lot of a big lot of fire damage. Why did I put my d8s away? I assumed I wasn't gonna hit again. Eight, five, six, one, so a two, 13, plus eight, just, so is it down? That's it. That's showtime. The, <laughs> okay. the, the wasp had four hit points. It's out. <laughs> yeah! Um, just in, in a blaze of blue and silver fire that's now starting to spark off in other directions every time she moves, um, she just screams at the wasp. Stop killing my friends! I don't have a lot of them! And just... <laughs> wails on it um and uh and then just stands there in a panic and tries to figure out how to put herself out okay (laughs) um those in i'd like you with the last wasp dead i'd like you to make me a medicine check please medicine okay that's not bad what do I add? 17. Oh, okay. Yeah, so you realize that the um, poison within the stingers has a paralytic uh, capacity. You you recognize that he's poisoned, uh, that he's poisoned. He's not in danger of uh, of dying. Um, if you, it should wear off in about an hour, or you can um, make some sort of uh, remove poison, lesser restoration check. Yeah, I'm a I'm a protection from poison. This okay? Does that remove uh, so poison effects? Yes, yes it okay. does. Uh, if it is poison, you neutralize the poison, mm-hmm. and then for the duration, the target has advantage on saving throws against being poisoned, and it has resistance against poison fragments. Maybe I should have done that before the fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. you live and learn. <laughs> But did we die? I said you. No. <laughs> he's still paralyzed, or is it just no? Uh, now that the poison's gone. Yeah, now that the poison's gone, he his muscles begin to uh, slowly return to function. Um, yeah, his his little toe beans are are back in action. Only when she sees him start moving again does the steam start rising, and Fable's at, kind of able to ice herself over again and just like calm her tits. Okay. Oh. You gotta stop doing that, all right? That's two adventures we've been on together, yeah. and two times you fucking died in front of me, and I can't fix it. I, I, 
I didn't die. You looked really I just dead. just took a little bit of a nap. A cat nap? <laughs> yes, a cat nap. <laughs> um, it was a it was a painful one, but it was still just a cat nap. <clears throat> You're right now. Um, yeah, I think so. Uh, Is everyone all right? Um, I'm fine. I'm bruised and stressed. If, yeah, if we take a, if we take an hour, I'll be fine. I need a bit of uh, breather as well. Are you two all right? <laughs> yes. Yes, thank you. I'm not dead. I would like all of you guys to make me survival checks uh, oh. to harvest the um, oh. stingers of the wasps, please. That's funny. <laughs> Mm. Go ahead and type Ooh. it in the chat for me. That that is okay. actually that's Ooh. a pretty helpful thing for me to reference. It's convenient. Yeah, it is. Oh, that's better than the actual roll that I rolled. So plus, okay. hold on. Also, I do like that too. Fifteen. I'm sorry. What was that, Matthew? Can I recover half of my? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, perfect. And I do. Does that round down or? Uh, round up. Yeah, I like rounding up. That's. I know officially the thing is like round down, but I prefer rounding up. It just feels more like you get more. It hurts more. It does more. You know. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Um. So yeah, you guys all roll well enough. Um, to recover the wasp stingers that were recoverable. Um, about half of them were recoverable, and because of the natural 20, I'm going to give you a fifth one. Um, so you guys recover five wasp stingers uh, because so that um, when you get back to Dorian's Dawn, um, Talroth's uh, less-than-reputable connections uh, we'll take those. And you get the idea that the it's the poison. It's the poison sacks that are valuable, um, strong paralytic, but also useful for, for medicines, numbing agents, things like that. So, yeah, you guys do a good job. Uh, you collect those things up. Um, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, yeah. It's a little bit of a shorter game for us, but we we had a lot of technical stuff getting started and we're really debugging and trying to figure all of this stuff out so um literally you guys debugging. Feel? <laughs> yeah oh um, yeah i didn't remember it but i'm not gonna fight it so <laughs> yeah, just, just find it acceptable i um, honestly feel like with some tweaks on making sure that the audio gets and like everyone like making sure that everyone has the space and their mic set up properly and, and, and making sure that our, our on our end we have the audio from the beginning right? Mm -hmm. Like this was an easy night. Like I it was easy to follow and figure out and like no one like no one's cameras broke. Like I feel like May, even Megan got hers back. That's the thing is like even Megan got hers back it didn't it wasn't gone all night we could still hear her even when the camera was freaking out. But mm -hmm. We didn't like we fixed and troubleshooted and fought our way through a lot of shit and I liked it. Okay. Yeah, it was gonna go a lot worse. Yeah, I I will say the there are times where I can hear everybody great, and then there are some times where I can't hear people so good. So I think some of that is like mic placement and making sure we're getting it into there. How are you guys on hearing me um, on my end? Uh, any problems? I saw three thumbs up. A um, couple. Yeah. The there were. A couple of times randomly in the middle where you started to cut out a little bit, but I think that was just a ping in the internet speed. It may have also it was been nothing more than just like mm -hmm. it may have also been his filters. Sometimes if you put like the right compressors on, bless you, put the right compressors on, Thank like you. it'll cut a certain vocal quality and tone. So if he was getting too high or too low, it will automatically like short that we learned. Um and so he's gotta play around with those as well. That might help. I I also really think it was I was um, fiddling a lot with the 
with the cord mm-hmm. at that point. Mm-hmm. And I had at one point clicked the mic, uh, the mute off. And then when I put it back on, I, I don't think it quite reconnected. Mm-hmm. So that's why I, I think I'm going to be just be leaving my stuff like on most of the time. Because mm-hmm. uh, it does a decent job when I stop talking of not picking me up. There's not a lot of ambient background yeah. here. So also- I think... Sorry. Uh, I think all of us cut in and out, but I think we all cut in and out to each other, but we were aware of it enough that we would ask, come again? Or like, we would ask to repeat it, but I didn't mind that. Like, mm-hmm. So, okay, um, yeah. We also have, there are other headsets, if this is going to be a while and people need to get, like, plug up their gamer headsets. Like, like some of them have the, like, I see Matthew's headset is, like, up and down. We have a headset that allows you to mute just by moving the thing and putting it back. Like, that's, like, an easy way. So maybe we can switch up our tech, whatever. Carlos, how did it compare to, like, other streamed Roll20 games you do? How is the audio quality? What do we need to work on? I see, like, with, uh, it's very, because I've never used Discord to use as audio, and it actually works fairly well. Um, it, it's very similar to Skype, honestly, so, like, it pretty much ran just like a junk drawer show would as well. Um, obviously, like, it was choppy in and out, but I think that was also on my end as well, because I think I had too many devices logged onto the Wi-Fi, mm-hmm. so I had to, like, turn off my phone, and yeah. I had to ask the husband to be like, hey, turn off your phone from Wi-Fi. <laughs> so, um, but it compared very well to, okay. like, the other stuff that I do on here. So, yeah, like, the, the same, we, we have to troubleshoot with video all the time, and honestly, like, what we've done, like, it, we do the exact same thing. We kind of have to, like, reconnect um, and all that jazz. But as long as we have audio, sometimes we'll just push through with just... Because uh, we'll try to use the little chippies of ours as well um, as our avatars. So if anything, like, they'll be able to see my little character, but they'll be able to hear me. So uh, yeah. until I be, be able to troubleshoot it. But yeah, no, it went very well and very smooth. And it's kind of weird Good. seeing you guys on my computer. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and i think that we like even even just within this session we like adapted a little bit more to roll 20 as a thing like putting in some of our numbers for our initiative or showing them to the camera or like doing things like that and i think that if we just do it a little bit more that it <clears throat> will really quickly start to find ways to kind of compensate for the um the inconvenience of the <laughs> of the um doing it not agreed I think, yeah i think that there are some tools we're going to try to take advantage of in the future um well we might start playing with some some digital minis for combat um just because i uh, i probably won't be building like full scenes but just taking like little um little figures and being able to pop them onto onto a mat, you know, and move them around a little bit uh, might might be we. It's a tool that we don't have normally, so we might as well attempt to take advantage of it while we have it, you know. Oh, uh, right? oh, a man! Yeah. Oh, he's right there. He's moving. Look at him mm. go, little man. Mm. Look at him go. Run. Right. And then, oh, no, no, his friend is dead. Come here. Oh, yeah. Stand on his dead friend. There's also oh. a pretty good um, a token making website mm-hmm. that we can put basically our little chibi icons into. Yes. We have little personal tokens. It's, it's super cute. Yeah. So uh, also just being able to upload them on here, it kind of resizes them automatically, which is great. Yep. And yep. so there, there are some fun little things that I think with with a little prep we might be able to kind of add on um we'll see how long we're going to be doing this for i always prefer to have people here at the table with us i think we all do but in the meantime we get to keep playing and that's that's the biggest thing um oh you drew a card yeah i didn't know if everybody would be able to see that it was very weird Um, steal the card from me fuck you (laughs) i don't know i do it (laughs) <laughs> um so yeah i can't see the card but i can see that you drew something it's a, it's a- Ooh. um 
So yeah, like there, I can make other little decks and things like that, or people can do stuff. I I don't know. So we can. Um, there are some tools here that we should play with and see what we can make work. Um, tonight, just getting video and audio was a was a win. It was a real big win. So super happy with that. Hey, there is a card. I see that card. Um, cool. Well, guys, I think that's it. We're going to say goodnight. Um, I get to I'm gonna, do the thing. Yeah, you get to do the thing. You you yeah, don't always get to do the thing. Um, so we're going to say goodnight. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Um, we're also going to be trying to use this technology to, to play with our uh, patron friends and do some more stuff with them. So we're, we're doing our best to keep spirits high during this difficult time. Um, so we're going to be back tomorrow. Don't know what we're doing then. Maybe Disco Elysium, maybe ESO, uh, maybe something else. Who knows? But Someone um, bought me Stardew Valley. Maybe I'll play that. There you go. That sounds, that sounds like a lot of fun, too. So, all right, guys, we will see you next time. But until then, be cool.